Hello Candy Kids! Today I'm going to teach you how to make a pinwheel cuff. This is an original design I came up with around 2012-2013. It's fairly simple and straightforward but has a really great impact. You have the ability to put a design on both sides of it. It's really flexible and it looks pretty cool. I am very close to 20,000 subscribers, so if you can make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. I am going to do a giveaway when I hit 20,000. Stay tuned and I will post that video. Also, if you didn't know, I have new merch in my merch store, so links in the description. Let's get started! We are going to use a ladder stitch for the base of this cuff. We're going to use seven beads. The two beads on the end are eventually going to come together like this, so I recommend using the same color for there, just so the base of the cuff looks nice. You can do whatever pattern you want to. If you want them to change, make sure that these two beads are set different than these two beads. So after you have your original seven on there, we are going to add on seven in the same pattern. One thing to keep in mind is if you would like to alternate where one pattern was different on the opposite side, what you would need to do is make sure the pattern on your cuff is going the same direction each time. Like so, we're going to take the opposite string and we're going to string through all seven beads and create that ladder stitch. So you're going to make this exactly how you would a normal plain ladder cuff, nothing special about it, all exactly the same. So make it... Uh, long enough and more comfortable enough to fit on your wrist. So continue all the way until you finish. If you don't know how to make a ladder cuff, you can check out my tutorial here. Once you have finished your cuff, what we're going to do is you might want to get a cup or something round for this next step. I just have some icebreakers that I uh, tape together. There's five of them in here. It works really actually pretty well for working on cuffs and stuff. And then I put some construction paper on it just so it looks a little bit nicer. So what we're gonna have to do is we're actually gonna end up pinching these to get those little peaks. And doing this while it's flat is really hard, especially because a lot of these layers will try to invert themselves and it gets really frustrating. So something round, you can stick it on. It doesn't even have to be the same size. It can even be a little bit bigger and it will work exactly the same. So we're gonna pull off another piece of string, pretty long. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be stretchy string and it doesn't even have to be the same weight. If it's thinner, it will work. I think when I originally did this, I did it with fishing line and it still worked out pretty well. So we're gonna take the string. You're gonna wanna make it even. So you have a loop on the end. We're gonna hold the loop about there. We're going to put it around the beads. So keep the black beads together the base beads like this. Then we're gonna cross, so you can just twist it. We're gonna pinch, go over these beads again. Remember, we are crossing between the black and the green, like so. And you just do this through the whole cuff until you finish all the way around. So when you are done with this crisscrossing and you get to the last one we're gonna do the same thing where we will cross back through each side of the green and crisscross again like so and then we are just gonna tie it off with a square knot and if you wanted to you could end up hiding the string by pulling it through or wherever you wanted it to go you might need to adjust it a little bit and there you go, you've made your very first pinwheel cuff. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. Please remember to like this video and subscribe. I'm currently putting out new videos every Monday. Make sure to check the description below for links on supplies, for my new merch, and for anything else, there's tons of details. You can also visit my website, gingercandytutorials.com, and that has more details and more information about this tutorial. I will see you guys later. Bye.